Hi everyone, welcome back and thank you for watching another one of my grocery shopping haul videos. Hey Spirit Boosters, I'm showing you guys the inside of my dirty refrigerator. This is the before. Oh, it just came back on. This is the before. <laughs> And now you will see the after. This is the after. <laughs> I ain't doing a dang thing. This is too much work. Miss Janita is not cleaning this refrigerator today. Yep, this is my before and my after. Same old thing. How about that? <laughs> Oh my god. And yeah, let's see what's in the This is why I can't put nothing in the regular refrigerator freezer. Because too much stuff packed up in here. Look at all my hot Jimmy Dean sausage, cheese, bacon, french fries, ground beef, pie crust, chicken patties, uh, frozen fruit. There go my pack of turkey wings. What else we got here? Refrigerator definitely need cleaning. We got some fish up there. Sausage on the door. Definitely need cleaning. Popsicles, ice cream, hot dogs. Ice maker, whole need cleaning. All this stuff need cleaning. So this is my before. <laughs> And this is my after. Same old thing. Miss Jadita ain't doing nothing. Ain't nothing changed. Until later on. Hope y'all enjoyed the share of what's in my refrigerator. In the freezer. In the kitchen. Okay. Let's get over here and let me talk about something else. Hey. Hey. What's going on, Spear Boosters? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? I know it's a lot going on. What y'all got to say now? Leave it in the comments. Share what's the going zones and the what's happenings. Leave your thoughts, views, ideals, recommendations. Some great input. Bad input, it don't matter. We need to keep each other informed. How about that? Well, anyway, today, I decided to say this video is the day in the life of a hoarder. <laughs> I would see on some people's videos, they have D, capital D-I-T-L. And at first, I didn't know what that was until, you know, they started, you know, carrying on, explain what they were doing. And I said, oh, the day in the life. Okay, well, this is the day in the life of a hoarder. And as y'all can see, I have another small haul. And some things are up here just to help some of y'all remember. You might need this stuff for your holiday cooking. Now, in case y'all might forget some things. So... What else I was going to share with y'all? Something I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I got a tip for y'all. Make sure. I don't know if this was the tip I'm supposed to be sharing or not. There go the amnesia kicking in. It's always kicking in at the wrong time. But anyway, I'm going to say some of y'all might want to make sure your ovens are working correctly. You do not want to get ready to bake. <clears throat> or cook something and your oven ain't working so make sure that your oven is working properly because if it's not you might want to get somebody out to fix it before you get to panicking and can't make dinner and, and the whole family is is just worrying they ain't going to be able to eat turkey cake pie and all that other delicious stuff that need bacon make sure your freezers and refrigerators are still working properly because you don't want any of your food to spoil 
always make sure you give your freezers and refrigerators I always check on your freezers because you never know somebody might knock the plug out you know what you need in case let me see it's always best to have one of those serger plugs on your refrigerator and it's always best to have it plugged somewhere where it can't be disturbed or nothing can knock it out the wall because nothing worse than having your freezer go out you know accidentally or you know you don't know it went out and all your food is spoiling so you need to always often check to make sure your freezers are working properly but the best tip is make sure you make sure your oven is working or you ain't gonna be able to bake you might have to invest in one of them little electric ovens <laughs> no joke shit might be funny now or some of you might be experiencing in that, experiencing right now your some of your major appliances have gone out and ain't nothing worse than your washer your dryer your refrigerator your stove microwave something you use on the regular going out because here recently our wash machine was acting up found out it needed a um a water valve whole difference from the water pump i don't know i'll need to keep saying that because some of y'all probably don't know what the hell i'm talking about but anyway just saying when your major appliances go out or oh here's a biggie if your plumbing lord jesus your sink stopped up or your toilet stopped up okay y'all oh my god i know all y'all can relate to that that's the most horrible thing that can happen to you in your life is when your sink is plugged up and your toilet stopped up besides all your major one of your major appliances going out then you got to drag to the wash house oh i can't stand the wash house i can't stand seeing a man or a woman standing up there just smiling folding their clothes taking their, taking their time folding their clothes up and stuff i just want to get in and out when i used to when i had to go to the wash house i did not want to stay up in there folding up no clothes i already was miserable hot and sweaty irritated didn't want to be there in the first place so no way was i wanting to participate standing up in there smiling and acting like i'm so happy to be folding up some damn clothes i just couldn't stand seeing that when people would do that in the laundromat i can't stand it but anyway i do not like to go to the wash house so i i, I just hate it if my washer or my dryer goes out we all can relate let me hear about it in the comments but i know this is a dang grocery haul but we always talking about something over here but anyway y'all better just check on y'all stuff because ain't nothing worse than being without it and then you know it gonna cost you some money and what if you ain't got the money because these man mm, um service fee costs more than fixing the shit <laughs> When these service people come out, the service fee, my brother was telling me the service fee, they want a lot of money just to come and check something they, they ass ain't going to check. I remember once when my refrigerator, see, I used to fix some refrigerator, so I ain't panicking about it. My refrigerator go out, that's in its compressor because I don't have my torch no more, okay? But other than that, once I had, because my refrigerator was still under warranty, right? So I had the repairman come over and take a look you know it didn't cost me nothing so he looking it says to me i don't see nothing wrong so i can't you know continue to do anything about your refrigerator not working my mouth fell open he was really he got uh, I was so freaking irritated. I'm like what the hell kind of service man is this now you know if you was a private service Hell yeah, you're going to check a few things, but these um name brand people, they ain't checking. Crap. You, they going to tell you, well, we can't do nothing. They ain't, I don't see nothing wrong. But you know it's something wrong because they ain't working. As soon as they leave, they go that noise. Kick, 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 kick. The fan, you know, ice built up and the fan hitting on it, but it wasn't doing it when the man was. <laughs> that shit. Oh, man, that killed me. But anyway, to make a long story short, I fixed my own refrigerator. I had the tools to take out the panel in the freezer and what I discovered ice had built up right 
below the fan and the fan was hitting it so the fan couldn't blow the cold air i don't i don't want to go in all that because some of y'all i don't want to lose you and i don't want to confuse you but anyway i fixed my own refrigerator man he was an asshole man this the the way they their um rules is set up if they don't hear or see or nothing going on when you call when they come they don't do nothing and then you left disappointed your food is spoiling because they can't do nothing unless they see something it's, that is the weirdest screw it's, that's some bull crap but anyway i'm glad i had the knowledge to know what to do to look for to uh, repair my own refrigerator but yeah so y'all make sure y'all keep a check on your on your appliances and stuff so that you know you don't want to be disappointed when you get ready to cook and something ain't working right. And yeah, you're going to come out of pocket if you don't know your, if your husband, man, boyfriend, whatever, significant other, don't know how to fix stuff. And y'all, well, you just going to be disappointed. That's all I got to say. And sorry about that. Anyway, let's move on. Those are my tips, our tip for the day. Now, what I want to say. Oh! some of these things up here i got i finally y'all got my mccorm i got some mccormick i got vanilla beans it, it ain't but two two beans in there and that costs almost fifteen dollars i might well say fifteen dollars that's why i got the vodka sitting up there unopened still because i told you the purpose for it see my vanilla bean it's two of them in there it's dang near fifteen dollars and i told my husband i said i'll just get some more because that's you try to buy some vanilla bean. They got some ones on Amazon, but I don't trust a lot of those people. Because, you know, they got private sellers on there. And I don't know what going on. I don't know how Amazon does that. But um, I can't trust all them private sellers. So I just went on about them two. And I'll get another two, you know, until I get enough. I think I was looking at, I was looking at, I know stuff falling out my mouth and i'm moving on really fast y'all try and catch up if not let me slow down well anyway i seen a recipe on how to make some vanilla extract that's the purpose of y'all see i even bought some vanilla extract that two little ounce right there cost me dang near nine dollars for the mccormick gourmet organic premium pure vanilla extract see all them vanilla beans laying down that's what's in that jar next to it but it's only two of them in there, two beans. And uh, beans are expensive. And so the recipe I seen, I think the guy had like about eight, nine, ten beans in there, you know, to start. And you can keep adding beans. And I guess after a year or so, I think you supposed to, if y'all know about how to make homemade a vanilla extract, uh, mention in the comments. Share, 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 please. So, because I know these two is not enough, but I was telling my husband, I'm going to try and get started anyway. I'll throw that in there. And then when I get some more, I'll throw those beans in there. And I guess it got to sit in a cool, dark place. Let me know, y'all. Let me know. But anyway, that's going to be my first time experimenting with that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the day in the life of a hoarder. <laughs> so... Y'all been seeing me on a regular, well, doing regular grocery hauls on here. And, um, what I'm trying to tell y'all. I'm trying to say when you see me doing regular grocery hauls on here, these are, are early warning signs. I'm giving y'all an early warning sign. You better go get yours before Miss Janita get all of it. Anyway, in my era. <laughs> I'm giving y'all early warning side. You see me coming over here dang near every other day, every week, every month. It don't matter. Miss Janita got something to share. If I'm not just sharing with you something that, you know, you might need to see and you might want to get that you don't, you know, you need to use it for the holidays or whatever. Some of y'all never seen before. I'm glad to share my product. But the early warning sign, y'all keep seeing Miss Janita just slowly but surely getting little by little something that I need. I don't have like big majors, not all the time. No, 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 no. Y'all see what y'all see up here. A daily, a weekly, 
a monthly. I'm doing some kind of haul to share with y'all. And that's early warning signs of a... <laughs> y'all better get yours because this is the day in the life of a hoarder. I am continuing to get what the hell I'm needing, what the hell I want to eat. And uh, it might affect some of y'all where over here, like in my area, if I'm getting all the goods and stuff, y'all can't find what y'all need because Mr. Diddy didn't clear the shelves. The day in the life of a hoarder. Can you relate? <laughs> I know some of y'all still doing y'all thing too. Picking and choosing the stock. And that remind me. The government says y'all got to be patient. Choose substitutes. Like they said, if you can't find your name brand product, like say for instance, Dr. Pepper, you might not get, you might have to get Mr. Pepper, stuff like that, things like that. You can't find a name brand. Now, I ain't got no problem with, with a great value. That's a good substitute for some name brands. But if y'all found out, the warehouses do have the goods. They just say they don't have nobody to bring it. Or, like I said, it's all about the dollar bill. They just holding out and trying to, you know, they raising the prices. So, you know, you guys paying more and more for food. All the bargains is leaving. Dollar Tree raising the prices like the 99 cent only store. I can't stand the 99 cent only store no anymore. They still got that sign up there. No damn well, ain't nothing in there. Only 99 cent. They got the nerve trying to sell stuff like, uh, like they are a fine department store. That junk. I'm not giving you ten, twelve dollars for some of that crap. Now, if you put it back at nine, I said that you maybe got a deal. But hell, in no way am I gonna pay you twelve dollars for some. I know it was the other day. It was ninety nine cents. <laughs> Stop it! And now the Dollar Tree doing the same, trying to pull the same shit. They gonna try to sell y'all some over a dollar. And you know the other day that shit was what two for a dollar. <laughs> y'all, y'all know it's the truth. But anyway, I got to share with y'all this stuff. So I told you why the vodka is up there. That vodka look good as hell too. And you guys, you know, it's a lot. Of, I know some of y'all probably know how to make some good drinks or whatever. I don't drink like I used to. <laughs> Every now and then, and that's. Then, not now. <laughs> I got to take care of my health. This is some of the stuff you had to do. You had to take care of health. But anyway, let me finish this growth call. Y'all see all these glory products up here. But anyway, my husband, he found me some glory muffin. He called me and said, they got some glory corn muffin mix. I'm like, really? Because, you know, he really don't have no patience. Or he don't really want to do all that stuff. But when he, he helpful when he do see some glory. Because he know I'm collecting glory products. <laughs> So he, he found some, uh, the corn muffin mix. And I said, sure, go ahead and give me. Give me a few boxes. He said it was $1.33. I said, well, go on, go on, give me a few boxes of that. And then he also brought me back some uh, tomato, okra, and corn. He really liked the glory tomato, okra, and corn. And I just put these other cans up here to show y'all I'm still collecting on the glory food products. It's so beautiful. Also, don't y'all, I got the cake mix up here to remind some of y'all, y'all might want to get some cake mix for the holidays. Cake mix is so expensive now. Y'all don't know how to bake a cake. Y'all need to learn how to bake a cake because those are good. But anyway, uh, yeah, catch those cake mix on sale and the frosting and the icing too, y'all. But anyway, what, are you, what I got up here? I got the vanilla bean. I got, oh yeah, some poultry seasoning. Y'all ain't got y'all poultry season. My sister once told me the ingredients for the poultry season. I got all that stuff. That thyme, that marjoram, all that stuff. But the poultry season maker, they be like, we got the perfect blend <laughs> the, for our, in our, you know, the poultry season. We got it all perfectly blend up, blended, so it'll taste perfect in your food. Okay, so like you can't do it yourself, but like they say. It just perfectly, they worked on it day and night until they got it all perfectly blended and spiced together. So you can have that, just that taste you're looking for. 
Some people put too much poultry seed. I mean, too much sage in their dressing. And it turn to green. That is so gross. But anyway, yeah. Get the mustard powder, your poultry seeds. And I got down there some bay leaves. I uh, finally got some white pepper. Got me some more cinnamon. Mrs. Dash is right there. The chicken Mrs. Dash. And look at the peppercorns. And right here, I got some McCormick salt-free roasted bell pepper, roasted garlic and bell pepper. Mmm, 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 mmm. I love dried bell pepper. I got to get back on my dehydrating, but shit, I, I've done several, I've done all kind of stuff. And all these videos I got on my channel, y'all can check it out. Where I got, where I got the food stuff at? I guess it's on my, I don't know, it's not on the halls. I don't know, I got this little hat on with an apron. I guess it's in those with all my little food stuff. When I'm sharing the gadgets, I guess. I just did all kind of silly video. But anyway, thank y'all for supporting me. Whoever's watching some of my old videos, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am trying to, you know, get my reach my goal on my channel. And y'all helping me by watching my videos. Some of y'all watch it all the way through. Some of y'all watch the meaty part. Some of y'all just give me a thumbs up. Some of y'all give me a thumbs down. Some of y'all don't even watch, but you support. By just saying, let me know you just came on over there. That's cool. That is so loving. That is so spirit lifting. That's why y'all are the spirit boosters. <laughs> y'all so sweet. Thank you very much for all that support. All of his support. Whether y'all have a disagreement or, you know, and it's all right for us to disagree. We don't have to agree. Like, we might have disagreements on policy, the way we live our lives, religion, ginger, all kind of things. But we don't have to not support each other because we disagree on how we feel about certain things. Just, if you don't like something you can share your opinion your thoughts your views your goings on what's happening in the comment section you will be respected we will well as spirit, spirit boosters we welcome all all are included over here we're not against anyone everybody's included to come through and share your thoughts and views you know you don't have to agree with anyone but that don't make you have to you know like I'm going to leave your channel because I don't agree with what you're saying. That's not right. That's not spirit boosting. <laughs> but anyway, I just want y'all to know. We all don't have to believe the same way or agree the same way. But that don't make us not have something in common. Like this pandemic and like stocking up on food and you love watching grocery hauls. Like the way I love them. See all these colors and stuff like that. Some people like that kind of stuff. And that'll keep you coming back. Because it keep me coming back. And I just, all I, all I hope is that the folks that I go and support, come and support me back. Because ain't nothing worse than going to somebody's channel and being there often enough so that they notice that, hey, you coming over here. And then, for some reason, they don't come and visit you back. What? That don't make no sense, huh, spirit boosters? Let me know, spirit boosters. Does, does that does that make any sense if a person... I ain't talking about no big channel. I'm talking about channels, you know, around about the same amount of supporters as I have. Like, you know, you might have commercials and all that stuff, but that don't... You know, it's... What, what am I saying? I'm just saying, just... just Let's share support. Let's support each other. What's the problem? You doing what I'm doing? I'm buying groceries. You buying groceries. Especially if you're buying them like I'm doing. Every week, every other day, you got some groceries. <laughs> I need somebody that's doing like I'm doing to, you know, I want to support you as much. And I want you to support me as much. Because if you doing, we sharing the same interest. You shopping just like I'm shopping. I need your support and you need my support. Hell, I, I'm going to help you make a dollar more that year, that month, excuse me. You're going to make a dollar more because I'm coming over there fully watching and giving you support. Watching the dang commercials and all that good stuff. So, just 
just just just share your support that's all so i'm gonna move on from that because i want to talk about something now i want to tell you about this margaret Holmes seasoned cabbage it's good it's good i didn't think it was gonna taste that good but it tastes just like homemade that stuff good so i had to open up a can of day now Lori, she wanted me to open up a can of those beanie weenies and i guess i ain't know i haven't opened one yet but i'm pretty sure it's bandy cap beans pork and beans and there's weenies in there now it might be a little salty maybe but eating it with some potato salad and a rib or something, a slice of bread, it'll be all right. I'm sure it just tastes like bean and weenies. I'm not even going to doubt that. But also, what else I got? Don't Oh, yeah, don't forget y'all butter for your cakes. If you make it homemade cakes, cobblers, pies, bread, all that. Season your meat with good old butter. I always get unsalted butter. Um, Let me see. What else I got? Oh, I picked up. Some OL Paso slow cooker seasoning chipotle chicken. They say you need two pounds of chicken, an onion, a medium onion, and a can of enchilada sauce. And this go, I guess, in slow cooker. <laughs> Y'all use some bags in your slow cooker. It uh, it's convenient, so you don't have to clean the thing. You just take the bag out. But I use that. Let me see. Did I share everything up here? The vanilla. I suppose I did, but anyway, I'm warning y'all every day, every week, every month, go out and get yours, because this is the day in the life of a hoarder, and if you guys can relate, I know it's some people out there, that, y'all, if y'all know people that shop like me and come on here weekly, doing a weekly haul, and then some of these weekly hauls is like every day, what's she talking about, this is every other day, or every day Miss Janita come on here, she talking about she weekly haul, you breaking it up, no, some things are bought every other day, or every week, yeah, so I'm, I'm sharing what I got, y'all can relate, some of y'all doing the same thing, and that's why I say, I would like to uh, find channels that share my interests, do the same thing I'm doing, and a lot of people that I have found their channel they do this oh this is what i want to say this might be a little deep for some of y'all i have i don't know i go and i'm looking on channels and stuff like that but i get a little intimidated with some of my white brothers and sisters because i don't know if they want to deal with a black sister on that same level with the grocery shopping and i get a little intimidated and i guess that's the, the um unintentional bias i guess you could say that because of history of you know how people treat each other and stuff like that and then it's in your mind but it really ain't in your mind but it's unintentional but i just feel like hey they they i'm judging people before i even give them a chance but some people do, i don't know i don't know i try to i want to join it's a lot of channels but i don't know if they want to deal with me because of my race i said it there do y'all ever feel that way? I, this is really um, something important I want to share. And hopefully nobody get offended. But if you do get offended, that's okay. Conflict is normal. But let's not do any personal things. Let's, let's take it into, you know, making it like helping, um, getting some solutions and stuff instead of feeling a certain way. Let's move forward and not get all personal about it. But that's just the way I'm thinking but you know I might be missing out on some great channels because I think that they don't want to have nothing to do with me and then maybe some white sisters and brothers feel that way about me and think I might not want to have nothing to do with them but I don't mind I got it's a lot of you know different it's diversity on my channel a lot of different races on this channel and I appreciate some people you know I don't speak their we um there's a uh, language barrier but that's all right pictures speak a thousand words they say and that's okay and you can see what's going on and you you know you share an interest in what you're seeing so yeah you guys that's what i wanted to share if you guys can relate to what i'm saying please leave in the comments your thoughts and views on that subject your goings on and what's happening so have you experienced something like that and it, and it has affected it could affect you know you 
um, achieving something because you're holding back because you're feeling that that's the reason why you're doing it. But for lack of a better of me expressing myself, I hope I got it out enough as where as far as y'all can understand what I'm trying, what I've said or trying to say. But anyway, I guess I got to close this haul down. But anyway, these are the early warning signs for folks that, you know, I'm telling you, you better go out and get yours before Miss Janita find your spot and clear out all your glory. Well, not me, man, my husband. You know, he doing, a, he doing my dirty work. God, it ain't dirty work. Okay, but anyway, this, I'm going to end the day in the life of a hoarder. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, let me know in the comments. And if you know anybody that share this interest, I'm going to have to now, listen y'all. I have some subscribers, some spirit boosters that would like to see uh, me do a gardening haul. Some people might want to see my crafting or something else I do. So, hope y'all still support me when I just throw up something other than these grocery hauls. And I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hope y'all don't mind. Because sooner or later. I'm going to be sharing something else. Well. Not so soon. When I, you know, I'm feeling much better since I've been off my leg. As much as I've been off of it. But that don't mean that I got to jump right back on it. and breathe. Yep, I just got to stay off of it. And, you know, give myself some time watching my calories. But I'm going to get out of here. Thanks, Spirit Boosters, for all y'all do. Thanks for all the support, all the well wishes, all you guys do on this channel. It's very appreciated. And welcome any new Spirit Boosters. I think I forgot to say that. But anyway, the day in the life of a hoarder. Out! I hope this grocery haul was a pleasure to watch. And I hope it helped you guys remember something that you might have forgot to get from the store. Once again, thanks for watching.